For once, we might actually have an agreement with Tommy Lahren, and it has to do with Kyle Rittenhouse, what? Now, recently, Turning Point USA held an event called America Fest. And during America Fest, they had honestly one of the strangest walkout songs. They dedicated a walkout song to Kyle Rittenhouse, who at the end of the day did kill two people at a protest in Kenosha, Wisconsin. And so his walkout song was very celebratory, obviously very complimentary. Let's give you guys a little reminder of what that looked like. Now, believe it or not, Tommy Lahren had a problem with that. And we're gonna get to her statement in just a moment, so sit tight. But I can't help but wanna ask Waz about um, the song, the Kyle Rittenhouse song. Um, just one question for you, Waz. Uh, did that walkout song slap? Was that a- I mean, the beat The beat was kinda knocking, I, I could feel the bass. <laughs> Honestly, uh, when, when he walked out, I, like I'm- Confused, Anna, because I'm like, there's always a right wing gravy train. Anytime one of these dudes basically becomes a martyr or does something that owns the libs or whatever. And I'm like, yo, like, where's the liberal gravy train, right? Like, the guy gets the chick fired from a job for being mean at the dog park. Like, does he get to go on like NPR or, or like, does he do all of these speaking events? Nope. Like, nope. this doesn't exist on our, I say our side, um, in the way that it does in the right on the right wing. Like, the, these dudes become famous for something disgusting or abhorrent, and then the right wing gravy train just shifts into mega gear. They're doing all kinds of speaking arrangements and public appearances is quite remarkable. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason why you see various media figures, for instance, go from you know being part of independent media and wanting to really reform or change our system, want to fight for workers. And then all of a sudden, they make that transition to being extreme right wingers. Is it because their ideology is just changing and rapidly devolving or is it because there's a lot more money on the other side you know it's 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 unfortunate but it's true there aren't very many moneyed interests that are looking to prop up left wingers and and to be quite honest with you when you look at the left wing i i think that there's a lot more focus on Oh, are you progressive enough? Are you leftist enough? Are you know, like it's the genitalia <laughs> measuring contest that they engage in all day, all night on Twitter. And it's like, you guys are freaking dorks. You're getting nothing done because you're too obsessed with like the gatekeeping. Just find a way to work together, organize, and actually get something accomplished. But anyway, that's beside the point. I promised the Tommy Lahren response. She's not in favor of uh, treating Kyle Rittenhouse as a hero. Why? What's what's her argument? Remember, she's on the right wing. Here's what she has to say. And at first, I want to say I agree with the verdict in the Kyle Rittenhouse trial. I believe that he was innocent. I believe that he should go after the media for how they have slandered him and mischaracterized him. I believe that wholeheartedly, and he should set an example and be an, be that example. However, I do think that as conservatives, we need to be a little careful when it comes to this. I believe we can put up Kyle Rittenhouse as someone who is innocent, who was bullied and, and mistreated by the media. But I think we should step back a little bit and maybe not treat him like he's a rock star or a celebrity. I don't think that's necessarily necessarily a good look for the conservative movement. He did what he had to do. He was defending himself. Let's talk about self-defense. Let's talk about the riots. Let's talk about how everything went horribly, horribly wrong that day. But I think we should take a step back and maybe not make the man Bon Jovi. But that's just my take. Fascinating, really fascinating take. Uh, is it because Tommy Lahren feels a little envious that She's no longer the young right wing superstar Kyle Rittenhouse is because she had you know she she experienced that gravy train. Uh, she shot up to celebrity, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that that absolutely felt like the pot calling the kettle black right there. Uh, she, this is somebody who the conservatives just, you know, basically she's a pretty face saying awful things, and that every single conservative media outlet, it it felt at times that she was literally auditioning for what her current job at Fox News is, right? Like so often that felt like the case, and now she's she actually accepted herself into that damn job by being so publicly awful. All the time, so it's funny that she should be like, "Whoa, hold on, wait a second, don't use the machine on everybody." Yeah, yeah, that's it's so true. It's so true, and it, I mean, it reminds me of the back and forth, the conflict that she had with Candace Owens, as Candace Owens was kind of sh- like she shot up to fame, hmm. right? And that kind of took a little bit of the attention away from Tommy Lahren. Look, overall, I, I agree with her message regarding how it's not a good look to make this. Kid, a celebrity, you know, even if he was able to prove that he had a reasonable defense or was using self defense in when he opened fire and killed two people, the fact of the matter is he killed two people, you know, and he really shouldn't have been there. He, because he was a 17 year old with a freaking gun. He should have been home, he should have been in a safe environment. You're not a cop, we should not be supportive of vigilante behavior. It's incredibly dangerous and people could get killed as they did in Kenosha, Wisconsin. So I I agree with her on that message. Um, Obviously we're speculating about what's driving that message or influencing her commentary there. Uh, But whatever, if she's willing to put herself out there and and speak out against what conservatives are doing and making this guy a celebrity, I guess I'm all for it, it's fine. Um, But I don't think conservatives should make her a rock star either, just keeping it real. Look, and as you know, a great friend of mine once said, even the sun shines on a dog's ass. So Tommy <laughs> Lauren could be right every now and again. It happens. Who who says that? That's a great quote. Uh, it's somebody Southern. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.